Hi guys, so I want to do a little introduction, well an explanation of this upcoming vlog, of this upcoming trip. And I think it very appropriate that I am doing an explanation with snow behind me. An explanation of a summer Disney trip, August 2017. <laughs> we just got our first snow this weekend here in North Carolina. And I thought it appropriate to uh, do this intro outside, this explanation outside. So, August 10th, we left for Disney. Technically, it really wasn't a Disney trip. Mr. Malsteva's daughter was accepted into a Florida college and it is about an hour and a half away from Orlando. She was due to check in, move in on October 11th. So we decided that we would go ahead and book a Disney resort and drive to Orlando on the 10th. Mr. Mouse Steve and his daughter were going to spend some time together at the Coronado Springs pool because that's where we were going to be staying and I would head off to the park since I was an annual pass holder. And then on the 11th that morning, bright and early, they needed to leave and go move her in. There were some evening night activities um, for parents at the college, so he was going to be tied up all day. So technically, this was my first solo trip like a trial solo trip. So even though he was not there during the day, he was there um, later at night where we could have dinner. And I do plan on taking a solo trip in the next year. And this was really interesting because it was the first time that I'd ever been to the parks by myself, you know, rode on a Disney bus by myself. It was just a really cool experience. So I just wanted to explain this trip to you, who went and why. Here we go to the first clip of the trip, which will be us arriving in Orlando. For the first time, actually going to make a little detour before getting to Disney. We're going to the Holy Land experience. <laughs> and that's what it looks like, huh? No, we're not going to the Holy Land experience, sure. but we are going to experience a first. So we are at the Orlando International, no, oh shoot, what's the name of this called? Anyway, the Outlet Mall. So does anybody know where we could be going? That's right, people, the Disney Character Warehouse, the Disney Outlet. Finally, oh, look at Goofy, finally. I have finally made it here. Oh my gosh! Yes. So, oh, they even sell tickets here, people. Oh my gosh, they have the regular plates. It's smaller than I thought. It is smaller than I thought. I call dibs. Yeah, the Death Star luggage is pretty cool. How much is that? Sixteen bucks for Death Star luggage. Sixteen dollars? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That's not bad at all. Oh my gosh! I've always wanted these. I've always wanted these to put plants in. Five ninety nine. Oh my goodness. And it's a small world plate. Oh my gosh. $4.99. And the coaster set is $9.99. Oh my gosh. I got a big huge haul. I can't believe I only spent $43 and got all oh, a big huge bag for this stuff. 
Well, whatever this is, we have never been, oh, fun spot. We've never been this close to fun spot. Let's look at the roller coaster thing there. That's a good uh, one. Wooden one. Wooden one? No, don't think so. A little carnival. It's a nice carnival. Ooh, that's, is that, that's a nice big Is that like go kart track? Oh, there? yeah. Those things are fun. That's a big go kart track. Oh, that is. Oh, that's sweet. Fun spot. Okay, now right, our destination oh. is turn right at the Disney World. World. Then turn left. Oh my goodness, it's the gates. Oh, it's gonna feel good to be back. Oops, and a bump. Where are you staying, hon? Colorado Ooh. Springs. Coronado. So you now gonna stay at all the moderates. Cool. Very cool. I didn't think Coronado Springs was an active resort. Okay, where am I going? Registration check. This looks totally different than there, the last time I was in? here. You need to see a photo ID. Look, other people are arriving. Is this the first look? They're gonna beat us. They might not. They have to go. This looks so weird because it's under construction. That's Ooh. so wild. So I am Ooh, thankful. Stop. Look, with this new I'm extender, I can fit you in the frame. Oh, that's excellent. <laughs> okay, that's now cool. back to your so, comments. Yes. I, I am happy to state that on a short little visit like this, I'm we are not to, uh, value resorting. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> so Tom, this is the last uh, moderate that he has not stayed in, so this will complete all his moderate resort stays. I've stayed here once with Langley. Oh, feel the air, smell the Disney Resort. Hi! Hello. Oh, we're gonna hit registration. I did not do online check-in this time. All right, we are in Casitas 3. Wow, that's really pretty. Okay, 31.96. Time for a room tour. So lots of nice outlets at the table. Let's get some more lights on. And we have got two queen beds and the ceiling fans. I love the ceiling fans and the moderates. And what kind? Hmm. No additional plugs there. And always like their sliding doors. And oops. Um, this is interesting. Where is our, oh, they put them over there. I'm like, normally you have all your little shampoos right there, but, um, so this is definitely not a remodeled room. Ooh, we've got a little mold in here. Look at that. And the new products that they've been handing out, no more the little Mickey eared products. Your wall safe. Which look, somebody's drawn in it for us. Artwork. Adjoining room. Coffee. Yeah. And refrigerator. But I can never open. There we go. No freezer. Oops. And roll. Oh, and it twirls. I do want to point out the one little hidden Mickey there. They, um, have taken out the, uh, like anything almost 
Mickey theme. They used to have the little sashes over the bed and they don't have them anymore. So like the only thing that says Disney in this room is that hidden Mickey. Okay, I am super excited because you know how I am about special pins. And we actually got a, please pardon, our Pixie Dust special pins. Oh, I love these guys. I know like Fort Wilderness a while back were giving some out, but they were not these characters. I can't remember what they had. I'm loving this. Look, the tower's going up. It's like seeing the crane behind the castle. <laughs> and this is why it's so easy to step on these things. Look how tiny. Look how long his tail is. My goodness. Okay, so building one is in the process of being renovated. And, oh, there's vending machines. I bet they're gonna have the lights on at night like they did at Pop Century and we can see in. That'll be nice. Get an idea of what they're gonna look like. That was a room, like they're just demolishing the whole room. They took the wall down right here. That's funny. A little disappointed because I can't remember if it was this section or the section right over there. It might have been that section right over there where they had a statue of the three cabareros. Cabareros. Cabarero. Caballeros. Ca Cabareros. Caballeros. Cabareros. Cabareros. No There's like four lizards. Cabareros. There's no R's. No. <laughs> Yeah, I can't say it. But anyway, I love them. Yeah, I think maybe they were over here. And they're gone now. I did not realize that they had the fuel rods at the resorts now. Um, they used to just have one at each park. So this is nice. Yeah, this is, I'm going to end up doing it probably. Um, you buy, it's $30. You get all this. And then at different parks, and I didn't realize they had them at resorts, you change them out Content, as many times as you want forever. As soon as they, oh, so you buy one, you buy one, and, and then you, you constantly buy. And it's on. There we go. I want to buy one. Who did next? Oh, sorry, next. And swipe a card. All right. So in it, we have the fuel rod, and then we have the different size accessories depending on your phone. So. Looks like this is going to be mine. Would that be yours? iPhone yeah. 7s, mine's a 5. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, this looks like a Blackberry one. What is that, iPad or something? Yeah, the older iPhones. Older iPhones, okay. So anyway, so, yeah. And then, I will show you later when I um, swap it out. Free, unlimited swapping, rechargeable. Power's ready to go. Free unlimited swapping. So when that battery goes, I just come and swap out anywhere. That a fun one. Ever and ever for thirty bucks. <laughs> and she's already jumped into the thirty bucks, so her forever has begun right now. So this is the Rick's Lounge, and this is the Quick Service, the Pepper Market. This is one of my favorite um, Quick Services. And Convention Center is right through there. So let me show you what I love, one of the things I love right here. I love this. I want this display. You know, Langley has one of these, are the ones you know, they sell in the Mexico like Pavilion. And they just put a little peg in the back. I know, I love these. And it's just, I love this whole display. Okay, we have a little smoothie of the day. You can get smoothies. 
And let's see. We have sandwiches, market station, Caesar salad, chicken Caesar, Asian chicken salad, kid salad. Anywhere from $11.99 to $7.99. Sandwiches, tuna, vegetarian, turkey, the Italian roast beef, $9.99 to $11.99. You have your pizza from $9.99, nope, $7.99 for the pizza to $10.49. Off the grill. Grilled turkey burger, oh, 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 vegetable burger. So the grilled turkey burger is $11.99. The vegetable burger is, um, no, turkey burger $11.79. Vegetable burger $11.99. Kids cheeseburger $7.99. Chicken tenders $7.99. Crab cake sandwich $14.99. Philly cheese steak $12.99. Texas bacon burger $13.99. Teca burger. That's a black Angus burger. Fried onions and jalapenos. Whoa. Chef specials. Pasta of the day. Roasted chicken and barbecue ribs. $14.99. Uh, Mexican specialties. Tacos, nachos, quesadillas, rice bowls. Yum. And check out the desserts. Little miniature churros back there. Brownies and assorted cookies. <laughs> oh, the dessert bar. Oh. Let's see, what is this one? Lemon? Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's cheesecake. Mm. So I have the turkey burger with the, with the Parmesan potato wedges and it is twelve fifty six, and it comes with a ticket. So check this out. Caroline has found the chip on the bottom of her disposable cup. And what did they give you? They what? What does the machine read out? Um, the first time it for like two hours after you fill it the first time, you have until that to use to refill it three more times. So they gave her until 7.01 p.m. today to have up to three refills. Interesting. Wow, we found the, the goodie. Look at these huge cupcakes. What's that? Yeah, the fruit's way down there. <laughs> wow. Prices? Specialty, $4.29. Uh, it's got like coconut stuff in it. Chocolate mousse down there, key lime mousse. Oh. Oh. And then they have ice cream. And of course, the Mickey bar. Wow, so coffee, smoothies. There's a window change I've never ever felt this way Love.